Hi, I'm Daniel Reed, Video Applications Engineer at Biamp. In this video, I'm going to show you how to de-embed and re-embed audio into Serilux. So one of the first things we'll want to look at in the video partition is the signal paths. This particular signal path is both red and yellow, and that indicates that this is an audio and video stream, or an AV stream. This particular path is lit up just yellow, so that indicates this is video routing. And we can see that audio routing is going into these partition connectors. This partition transmit connector has this red line from the AV node of the AV input block. So this is going to be embedded HDMI audio or DisplayPort audio. And on a system overview, we can see that this transmitter is connected into an audio partition. In this particular case, this is going into a Tessera Forte. And when this audio stream is arriving at the Forte, this particular partition connector is going to mix that into left and right channels. And these channels can be processed by the audio DSP. When our desired processing and mixing is done in the audio DSP, that audio can be sent out with left, right, or any number of channels back into the video partition. This partition connector is receiving the audio stream from the Forte and sending it into the AV combiner block. This AV combiner is combining this video stream and audio stream together into one AV stream. And that stream is then sent into the AV router, which is distributing this into these four AV output blocks. In this particular case, the HDMI audio is now part of the AV audio stream and that processed audio will be heard on all of the HDMI outputs. This is really useful when we want to capture all of the audio and video media out of an HDMI cable into a video recorder or a video codec. It's also possible to combine the analog inputs onto Serilux. The IDH1 has two analog inputs, and we can take one of those analog inputs and we can combine that in with the HDMI audio stream. In this particular case, this video stream is now being combined with this analog input audio stream, and then that's being sent into the AV router. And this can be achieved without any audio DSP in the system at all. For more tips and tricks, and for more information on the rest of our products, including Tessera Lux, please visit our knowledge base at support.biamp.com. Thanks for watching.